Welcome back. In this video, let's discuss about nested objects in React hook form. From our default values object, it is quite clear we have three fields and we track their values in the same structure as these key value pairs. Head to the browser, submit the form, and we see three key value pairs. Now this is great for simple forms, but for more complex forms, we may want to group certain data together into a separate object. The reason could be that the API accepts the data in such a format, or the database stores the data in a particular format. Whatever might be the reason, we would like to group together some of the fields in our form. For such cases, we can use nested objects in React hook form. Let's understand with an example. Let's say we want our YouTube form to collect information about the user's social media profiles such as Twitter and Facebook. As the two fields are related, we want them to be grouped and stored as a nested object. Let's see how to achieve that in three simple steps. First step, add social to form values type. This is an object with two properties. Twitter, which is a string. Facebook, which is also a string. Second step, on the default values object, add a new key value pair. Key is social. And the value is an object. For this object, we have Twitter as key empty string as value, and Facebook as key, empty string as value. We have a nested object. Third and final step, we add the JSX. Copy paste the channel field HTML and make the necessary changes. Change HTML4 and ID to Twitter. Label is also Twitter. Change the register function argument to Twitter as well. But since we are working with objects, we need to specify social.twitter. Let's remove the required field validation as that is not necessary. I'll also remove the error paragraph tag. Now let's copy paste this div tag for Twitter and change occurrences of Twitter to Facebook. Let's now head to the browser and test this out. I'm going to fill in the details and when I click the submit button, you can see the form values submitted. We have username, email and channel and we also have social which is a nested object containing the properties Facebook and Twitter with their corresponding values. So if you ever want to group together some data, you can make use of nested objects. Remember, there are three simple steps. Add to the form values type, add a nested object to the default values option, and then when you define the fields, Make sure to specify the register argument with the dot notation on the nested object. All right, that is pretty much it about the nested object feature in React hook form. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.